Good afternoon, Broncos. Happy Friday. We made it through the week. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Attention sophomores and juniors, do you need to bring your PSAT or SAT scores up? Did you know that ECISD offers an SAT prep course? Speak to your counselor about getting enrolled in the course. Got Bronco spirit? Do you want to get in the mix and have a front row seat at the pep rallies and football games? Then the Stampede Spirit Team is what you're looking for. Come and talk to Mr. Ortiz in Corral 7 or Ms. Guerrero in room 309 for more information. Coaches and sponsors, if Mr. Hansen takes your group photos for the yearbook, he is now taking appointments. Email him with a list of times and days that your group is available, and he will set up a your appointment. Hey seniors, have you gotten your yearbook photos taken yet? If not, you need to call Marks, Shots, or D&D Photos as soon as possible. Photos are due at the end of February. There will be no exceptions for late photos. Hey there Broncos, NHS will be hosting a campus cleanup. If you are not an NHS member, you can still participate. Please meet in room 208 Wednesday, January 29th at 4.30 to pick up your supplies. One bag will equal one committee hour. Hope to see you all there. Join us in the library on Monday, February 3rd at 4.30 as we design Valentine's Day cards for patients of local hospitals and nursing homes. National Honor Society and an Outreach Committee hours. All NHS members, there's going to be a meeting on Wednesday, February 5th in the auditorium from 4.30 to 5 o'clock. Hey Broncos, did you know we have a Gay Straight Alliance organization on campus? Well, now you do. Meetings are Monday from 4.30 to 6 in room 109. Everyone is welcome. Stop by room 109 any day before school if you have any questions. Join Students in Philanthropy on Friday, February 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the OHS cafeteria for Netflix and Chili. Come hang out, taste some chili, and watch a movie. There will be cash prizes for the winner and raffle prizes. It'll cost $20 to enter your chili and five general admission, three with a student ID. Speak with Ms. Christian in room 116 or Ms. Fuentes in room 514 for tickets. Welcome back, Broncos. We do have quite a few announcements for all NHS members. On Wednesday the 29th at 4.30, NHS will be hosting a trash pickup here on campus. Please meet in room 208 and bring a friend for one committee hour. Now, if you are not part of NHS and you would still like to participate in campus cleanups, be sure to talk to any teacher who is involved in Keep OHS Beautiful. If you are a teacher who is doing keep OHS beautiful please make sure you are keeping up with that and doing your part in picking up trash around the school now back to NHS members on February 3rd there will be a Valentine card making held in the library also at 4 30 so be sure to attend that those Valentine Day cards will be delivered to hospital patients and nursing home patients so I'm sure that's something that they would very much enjoy and February 5th will be the mandatory NHS monthly meeting in the auditorium at 4.30. Hope to see all NHS members there. Now, soccer games will be tonight at Ratliff and tournaments will be on Saturday. So if you have time after school, be sure to go and support them. Now for yearbooks, they will be $85 until the 31st of January. So that means deadline is approaching next week. If you'd like your yearbook for $85, please purchase them. If not, they will go up to 100 Now, if you have an appointment for a group photo or if you would like to schedule an appointment with Mr. Hansen, be sure to do that as soon as possible. And don't forget about Netflix and Chili on February 7th. And that's, well, that's almost it for today. Mr. Hansen has some a few announcements for PSAT and SATs that are approaching. 
All right. Hey, guys. It's pretty gratifying to me when I'm, whenever I'm walking around the halls here at OHS, casually listening to uh, you guys' conversation. I like hearing about you guys' future plans. And I love hearing how powerfully resistant our kids are to the kinds of big lies and propaganda coming out of some, of the, some colleges these days. Uh, by example, there's quite an impressive general, and it's kind of delightful in its contemptuousness, uh, but there's a dismissal of the warped myths of uh, that are put out by uh, some admissions officials at these colleges. These myths specifically are about the so-called importance of planning for and taking seriously your SATs, your PSATs, ACTs, ASVABs, all those, you know, all those acronym tests. So, I mean, to hear some of these misguided and delusional folks tell it, tests like these actually have some kind of bearing on your college admissions and scholarship achievements at major colleges and universities. I am so very glad that our students know better. I'm glad you guys know better. So, so glad that so many utterly reject this talk of tests and test preparations. College admin admission testings need not ruin a moment of prescient student recreational time. The idea that some three hour test could have more impact on a person's future than a text to one of your friends, something like, oh God, I'm so bored, or can you believe that Mr. Newman is talking about satire again. Glad I hid my phone so that I can do something that matters. The idea that a stupid exam should even register next to the urgencies of a Twitter feed or lunch or gossip about who's cute or who's ugly. Well, that is a stupid idea, isn't it? We'll see you guys Monday.